Meg and I just got back from our friend's children's birthday party. The theme was first rodeo, which I thought was really cute. And I have real cowboy boots from when I was in high school because I rode horses a lot. So I try to come up with a thematic outfit and I thought I would show you. So we have a gingham, very summery dress that I got from Target. And over top of it, I just tied a chambray shirt around it, which I thought looked kind of cute. And then for my footwear, I'm wearing my cowboy boots, cowgirl boots, which, God, they're what, 15, 16 years old? No. How long have I been out of? 16 years old. No, 17 years old. And they still look great, which is awesome. I just conditioned them with some leather conditioner. That's my outfit. I thought that was fun. It was a good theme. Come here. Sit. <laughs> Can you sit pretty? Good boy. <laughs> you have menace. Give me that. <laughs> We're home, and so that means I have some time to myself, which I really just love. So I thought I would fill my time by showing you my favorite red lipsticks as we're leading into peak holiday season. For me, red is my power color, and that's not just when it comes to lipstick, it's nail polish, it's clothing. I just feel really strong, really powerful, and really good in red. And so, uh, you know, I love to rock a red lipstick. Obviously, in a pandemic, it's kind of tricky. Reds are just really easy to, to mess up. So I've really been avoiding it unless it's a day when Caitlin and I are filming. I'm missing reaching for them. And maybe you guys are doing something really fun for the holidays or you're, you know, going to a fun New Year's party or something. So I want to help you out and share with you some of my favorite red lipsticks. I am in a different location because I've just learned that filming anything on our camera is just not a good idea right now. It's pretty much shit the bed. So look forward to a new camera coming to our channel soon. Anyhow, I think I was saying I had nine lipsticks to show you in various formulas and shades and textures. So I thought I would just tell you what we're working with and then I will swatch them all for you on my arm. And then I'll do some nice like close-ups and tell you what each one is. I'm going to try my best. You might know that I really love the Buxom Full Force lipsticks. This is in the shade Powerhouse. This is definitely not as intense of a red. You can definitely share this out a bit. It's not super opaque and it's a little bit brighter. So it's not the biggest commitment out of all of these. Really great formula, wears really nicely throughout the day and doesn't make your lips feel too dry. This is something I've had for quite a while. I should probably get rid of it. It is Clinique's Cherry Pop. The shade is 08. It's a very basic and not basic in a bad way, a basic cream lipstick formula. Then moving on to sort of a more orangey red, I have the shade Tell Lara from Charlotte Tilbury. Some of my favorite lipstick formulas are by Charlotte Tilbury and it's the Matte Revolution line, but they're not very matte. They still allow your lips to kind of move comfortably together. Formula is exceptional. Love this shade. Really love it for the summer, but I can definitely see wearing this throughout the winter. In fact, if you watched the last vlog where I showed you that really cool 70s poncho, I think this color will look really great with that. Then we have Scarlet Spell, also by Charlotte Tilbury. Same formula, just a really deep, deep berry red. Wears really beautifully. This is one of those ones that you can sort of build up the opacity, which is kind of nice. So if you maybe just want like a light berry wash, you could do one light layer. If you want to build it up and really try to get like that scarlet burgundy look, that looks beautiful as well. Then we have Kosas and the shade is Dark Room. It's kind of similar to Scarlet Spell, very deep, sort of that oxblood color. I think it looks great on all skin tones. I think there is at least several reds that everyone looks really good in. It's just a matter of finding the tone and the undertones and whether something skews a little bit more warm or cool or orange or coral or red or purple. It, it just depends. So kind of play around with it because I really do think everyone looks great in a red. It just has to be their perfect red. Then I'm going to go with my lip pencils. 
So I don't think I said this yet, but you definitely need to line your lips when you're going in with a color that is not as forgiving as a red. I have several different lip liner options. Don't spend a lot of money on them. NYX makes them for like $5 and I think they're exceptional. I have various shades of red. I think I have two or three red lip liners. I've got a real true red, a sort of orangey red, and then I have like an oxblood liner. If you maybe don't wanna go that route and you wanna sort of freehand it a bit, a lip pencil might be really great for you. So I have two here. I've got NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil and the shade is called Famous Red. Sort of kind of reminiscent of that buxom version where it's red, but it's not like red in your face. Like it can kind of be sheared out a bit. I really do like the pencil formulas because it is sort of like a liner and a lipstick in one. It's, you know, quite easy to use and you can just use a regular sharpener. And then the one that I think is like, mm, one of my go-to holiday reds, because I really love the finish and the tone, is the Nude Sticks Intense Matte Lip and Cheek Pencil. And this is the shade Royal. It's a little bit messy, but I really, really love this. This just, this shade looks so great and I really do love the finish. And uh, if you were in a pinch, you could always just use this for blush because it's a lip and cheek pencil. Then I have two liquid lip options. One of them is definitely matte. The other is a little less so. Uh, this is a sample size, but I feel like it's all I need in a shade like this because it's not an everyday color. This is the YSL Tattooge Couture Matte Stain, and the shade is one. Beautiful, beautiful red. Every time I wear this in a video and I look back at it, I'm like, that is such a good red. The only thing is that, you know, it is a liquid lipstick. It does have a nice doe foot applicator. It's kind of pointy, so you can really be precise with it. But that's the thing. You have to be very precise with it. You want to wear it on a day that you're probably not eating a lot of oily salads. So if I want like tattooed on my face, I don't have to worry about it, but I'm really not doing a whole lot other than talking. This would be a great one. Alternatively, I really like this Clarins Velvet Lip Perfector. It's also... It's a liquid, but it's not. So it does have a different applicator. It's like this sponge tip. This is a little bit more forgiving and wears really nicely, very comfortable, uh, not as matte as the others, even though it's called velvet matte. It's like, you'll notice the theme is I don't really like anything that feels tight. I'm all cozied up on the couch and I have on one of my favorite face masks. This is actually the Mara Beauty Volcanic Sea Clay Mask. I really like it. It's a it's a clay mask, but I find it to be kind of hydrating, which sounds like those two things wouldn't go together, but it does. It works. I'm almost out of it, and I think I definitely would repurchase. It was a pricier item, but the clay mask has stayed really nice and wet for over a year, and I feel like that's, that's a good sign. I may have taken a gummy. You know, it's Sunday. But I have a fun afternoon planned, and that is being down in the basement with my mountain of pillows and watching some Christmas movies in front of the fireplace. I might actually just put something on in the background for like some holiday cheer noise and actually read my book because I started a new one this morning. I'm actually reading The Christmas Wedding Guest by Susan Mallory and I talked about this in an earlier vlog. So far it's good. I like her writing and I usually like her character development. So that sounded really smart. <laughs> I also wanted to say thank you for the well wishes for going back to work. A bunch of you reached out on Instagram, which I thought was so sweet and kind. I went back on Friday. I had a pretty good day and was really proud of myself that I managed to sit at my desk for the full day and I felt good, I felt productive. I went through like 520 emails before 9.30 in the morning, which was like, yes. And I had a nice conversation with my boss and we've just decided that throughout the end of this year, I'm going to go back part-time, which I'm so grateful for because I certainly have days where I feel really great. And then I have days where I'm like, oh, this sucks. So it's nice to have the flexibility and the time accrued so that I can do that. So I'm kind of, you know, taking it easy, getting reacclimated. And then after the first of the year, after the new year, I'll, I'll go back to, you know, full time. So that's it for now. I'm going to uh, just enjoy some quiet me time.
finishing up my skincare routine and I thought I would walk you through my final steps before I crawl into bed and say goodnight. So first of all, thank you for watching. Thank you for engaging with these vlogs. They're no cinematic masterpiece, but all the same, I still appreciate you watching and commenting. It's just fun to uh, share a little bit of the behind the scenes stuff in my life. Also, I got this on Nextdoor like six months ago and it has sat in that same position for six months. It's an old window that someone put a mirror in. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I have so many mirrors in this house. Just probably throw a clip in my hair just to get it out of my face a little. As you can see, I'm having some really fun breakouts along my hairline and on my forehead. And I'm wondering if it's a hair product. I'm trying to think if I've used anything new. Honestly, it could be that living proof dry shampoo. I'm not sure, but I've definitely gotten stuff out of this one and I think it's done. And these are definitely healing. So they're not really raised anymore, but they are still red. So I'm gonna use my Aveda Tulasara Calm Concentrate. This I get at, at a spa. You can get it online. You can get it on Nordstrom even, I think. And it's a really thin, watery-like serum that has that amazing Aveda scent. And with this, I just kind of press it into the skin. Oh my God, it smells so good. It smells like a spa. And then I'm going to do my lip balm. This is something that I got recently. This is old packaging, but this product still exists. It's the Beekman 1802 Dewy Kiss Probiotic Lip Serum. I think that the reason they did away with this packaging is because it's just kind of like, I don't know, a little bit messy. Like you squeeze it out and it comes out on this thing and then you smear it on your lips. And I like it, but I am, you know, I'm excited that they changed it up because this is just clunky and then the back of it gets kind of gunked up with <laughs> excess lip product. But you know what? I appreciate a brand that takes feedback and makes positive changes. I have really liked all the Beekman 1802 products I've tried. Okay, so now that my serum is just kind of sunken in a little bit, I am going to use my Ren Evercom Overnight Recovery Balm. This is my like number one dry skin savior. It's the best. I am scraping the bottom, but I already have another full one ready to go. As you can see, I'm like hitting the edges up there. And I will say I already did like do my acid toner and stuff like that. I did that in the bathroom. So what I do is just get a little bit on my finger here. And because this is a balm to oil, the warmth immediately breaks it down. Like it becomes quite oily right away. And with this, I put it everywhere. I've even been feeling like my eyelids are kind of dry, so I'm using this instead of eye cream tonight, which is fine. I feel like it never clogs my pores. It's always just such a drink for my skin. And I like comb it through my eyebrows. And as you can see, the theme for bedtime is a very glazed donut look. This stuff is just amazing for sensitive skin, for dry skin, cracked skin. If you like to do wintertime sports or activities, I'm sure you're feeling the effects. And that is just, it's been something I've reached for for years and I continuously buy it over and over and over again. Okay, thank you so much for watching. As I said before, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and you can ring the bell for notifications so you never miss out on our new videos. It will not send you a notification, but when you log into YouTube, it will tell you, hey, our time of the month posted a new video, and then you can watch it or not, whatever. We have some regular content coming out soon. A sponsored video will be going up next, I believe. And as always, we appreciate any time you engage with those posts because, you know, we really vet our brand partners and we're really proud of the people that we do choose to work with. So we have one of those coming up and some fun discounts for you. If you have anything else you want to see, just leave it in a comment. I have been making a little list on my phone of things I want to include in future vlogs. I need to wash my makeup brushes, so I thought I could show you that because I feel like I have a pretty good system down. And then I also wanted to kind of walk you through my current skincare routine as it stands beginning to end. So I was just showing you my hydration products tonight. If you can believe it, there's more. With that, I just want to wish you all a happy holiday season. I unfortunately made a huge 
oopsie and got some dates confused and missed out on the one holiday event that I had signed myself up for this year, which was a really big bummer, but I am doing that thing where I practice what I preach and I'm trying to give myself grace. People make mistakes and, uh, you know, no one's going to die. So that's all that matters. Really. I have been finding it really difficult to give myself grace and be kind to myself. It's far easier for me to beat myself up. And, uh, I know that's not healthy, so I'm working on it. I'm working on it. And I encourage you to do the same if you're also feeling that way. Cause it's just, it's not good. It's not good to beat yourself up. Yeah. Take care of yourself and I will see you soon, maybe even tomorrow or the next day. We'll see. Have a great night and I'll see you soon. Bye.